Hello, and welcome to the Census Bureau's Opportunity Project Demonstration Week. I am Steve Dillingham, Director of the U.S. Census Bureau. Thank you for joining our virtual innovation conference this year, our first three-day event. At the Census Bureau, we are proud to be a leader in government innovation, creativity, and use of open data. Over the next three days, we will see more than 30 new tools that have been created this year through the Opportunity Project. You also will hear exciting discussions of data and technology. As we celebrate the fifth anniversary of the Opportunity Project, I'm reminded that this is a great example of how the Census Bureau and other government agencies are working together with industries and communities to make data more widely available and useful. This work fits into a key element of our mission, which is open data, with a goal of making that data as accessible as possible. During these last five years, the Opportunity Project has demonstrated advantages of collaboration between government and the private sector. We awarded a total of $100,000 to five teams that competed in making the best use of open data to solve problems for our workforce, healthcare system, and 2020 census. One example is a team in Puerto Rico that helped to solve problems with local address accuracy. Hundreds of people from cities such as Chicago, San Juan, and Washington, D.C. have convened virtually this year to address government problems with better data and analytics. We helped the Department of Commerce with national workforce policy goals. We helped the Department of Housing and Urban Development engage with companies and communities to build digital tools that support Opportunity Zone ecosystems. This year, our theme is focused on how to protect and restore our planet. We are featuring more than 35 new tools which represent our biggest year yet. This would not have been possible without the contributions from our colleagues across the government. We have more than 400 Sprint participants from companies like Mapbox and SAS, but also small businesses, students, 12 universities, including Georgetown, Harvard, George Mason, and Syracuse, as well as user advocates from tribal communities and nonprofit organizations. The amazing new tools developed by participants are wide ranging. They enhance our understanding of threats to our oceans and air, address challenges of recycling and better agricultural practices, show how technology, data, and government can better serve tribal communities, help low-income families and refugees to improve economically, and address other critical challenges through the use of federal open data. The Census Bureau is a big part of this success, and we are proud to convene such a wide-ranging audience for these important conversations. We express our gratitude to the teams who are participating, our partners, and all who contribute and using data and technology for society's benefit. Thank you.